I only shoot and score, then if you score, then we'll come. Quick to the point, things wrong in ultimate team. I have nothing listed down, so I will just go out of the top of my head. Number one, 99 rated players in HUT. Every NHL after 3-4 months, hockey ultimate team starts to die down. At least for me the biggest issue is the 99 players and the repetitive uh, HUT content. So, I haven't opened HUT in about 3 weeks, but when I go here, I see there's a bunch of new 99 players everywhere. I guess half of the NHL is now 99 rated in late August. This makes no sense for me. The game is intended on playing with the basic overalls. And for me, if you have a team full of 95 pluses, they just break the game. You know, shots go in from the blue line. There's crazy arrow sheet stuff happening. And I feel like the game is much more fun when playing with low overalls. I just don't get how EA has to push this much content out all the time, player-wise. Quality over quantity. Nobody gives a shit anymore about these cards. Like if I go to the collection right now, I have no idea how many Ovechkin cards there are. But let's let's take Ovechkin for, the, for example. So, there's one... Two, three, four, five. Five different Ovechkin cards above 98. What the fuck? Like, why would I care anymore which card should I have? Like, these cards should should be meaningful, you know? Like, I don't want a 99 Ovechkin card just to know that there's three others. Like, <laughs> and even another issue is, basically a 99 Ovechkin plays similarly to uh, any other guy who's the size of Ovechkin, who's a 99 overall as well. Just too many of high quality guards and there's no nothing to separate them with. So, how would I fix this? I think there's a couple things I could do about this. First of all, right now, the players from the start of the game can rise up two overalls per month, so I would lower that to one. Also, I would not release the same card of any overall. So, for example, if there's a 90 overall Ovechkin on the market, there can't be another one. So basically, right now, McDavid at the start of the game is an 87 overall, so at the end of the game, in the last month, he would just get the 99 overall. I think that I think that would be fair. Then just have different cards to have some attribute caps, which they can't go over. So there's some separation of the cards. So players would have different strengths. For example, Ovechkin's uh, shot caps are 99, but for example, like a playmaker's, maybe Aho's shot cap is 93. Whatever overall he is, he can't go over the 93 shots. This is just a pure example. Same as speed. Maybe Bufflin, Chara, they can't have over 90 speed, for example. But somebody like McDavid can, or could. I think that would be huge. One thing I would love is the base cards to have some more values. For example, Matthews to be a 94 at the start, and then his value would be the same the whole year. But in NHL, that's hard to do, because there's not that many players, and then it would be super hard for EA to do content. Maybe you could do, like, there's 94 base McDavid, but then the special cards could start, you know, below 94. So maybe McDavid could get an 87 prime time. I don't know. I think that would be cool. I'm just throwing out ideas out there. Okay, second thing, especially this year, the servers. At the middle of NHL 19, EA switched to dedicated servers in Hockey Ultimate Team. This means everybody who plays connects to, the ser to a server when they play each other, not to the other player like it was before. The problem with this is there's input delay on the dedicated servers. I don't know if you could fix that, but that would be of course the most ideal thing. But if EA couldn't fix that, why wouldn't EA just give us an option to play peer-to-peer -peer connection if we want to? For me personally, I get a little under 20 ping to the Stockholm servers. But if I play peer-to-peer, -peer, 90 to 100 ping peer-to-peer -peer connection feels similar to 20 uh, in servers. So it basically is the same thing as me playing a North American every hot game, even though I'm playing another Finn. And this is a huge problem. And for me and many other competitive players, this has completely killed the... even even they want to play hot anymore. The problem is playing regular versus is much more enjoyable to hockey ultimate team just because of the connection alone. Don't get me wrong, like I love hot's idea, but just gives your motivation to play. Like even with the 99 cards and everything, I would have played maybe 500,000 more games than this year. Just if the servers were peer-to-peer, -peer, or the dedicated servers were a smaller delay. So yeah, I think, I think that's a pretty simple one, but try it out for yourself. Go play Versus, go play Hot, and tell me you can't feel a difference. Or at least a huge one for me as well. For competitive players, for players who play in tournaments, there has to be something inside of Hot to play for, other than Hoot Champs. Maybe have some kind of competitive rankings, some competitive leaderboards, something. You know, the Gaming World Championship is played in hot nowadays. So rather than have a, like a one month qualifier, why couldn't you have just, you know, a leaderboard for year around from every region? And maybe you played that the whole year and about maybe 50 players, 30 players, whatever whatever the number would be, would get to participate in the real GVC qualifiers. Just for example, I'm just throwing ideas. Yeah, there, there's a lot you could do with that. Other thing is, you know, Hot Champs is really good competitive-wise. There's, at least at the start of the game, there's so many competitive games in Hot Champs. Everybody plays Hood champ Champions. The problem what they did this year is, the Hood player items, which only the top 20 get, are untradeable. So, for example, I have tens of Hood Champs items in the game, but they're untradeable, and I do nothing with them anymore. Like, at the start of the game, when you get a Hood Champs item, them for being maybe top 5 in the world, 
in the same weekend. You get an 87 to 88 player this year. Once a couple months have gone off in the game, you just throw that player in, in the trash. <laughs> There's nothing to do with that player. And that's the re reward for basically, for example, being top 20 in the world in the same weekend or being number one. I think the reward should be more than that. Just have those cards back to being tradable. And you would actually feel rewarded from getting these packs. If you look at my videos, there's a bunch of reward packs and you've seen what I got in. Absolutely nothing. Maybe if I finish top 5, I get back on average 50k. Is that worth it, being top 5 in the world? Don't think so. Overall, they could do so much more with the rewards. Like, there's the same rewards every weekend. Just the untradable player switches. You could have a bunch of different packs, you could have some different players, different jerseys, you could have all kinds of things in the rewards. Or the thing is the competitive seasons. They took that away this year, which means before a weekend, there's nothing to play. And don't tell me you want to play Hoot Rivals, where it doesn't even matter if you win or lose. I think they should combine rivals and divisions. I think FIFA does it that way. And then competitive season once during the week have a bunch of original content. Let's say this week there could be a competitive season monday to thursday you have to play with your silver team or a gold team or a finnish team or a canada team like for every week you could have a different team it would keep the interest to the game so much better then the basic stuff the menus could be faster more responsive you still can search by the name that would be great small things like this i think those are the biggest problems in hot and just by fixing those issues i would play this game all day and i know a bunch of you guys would keep interested in the game but yeah that's just what i think let me know down in the comments what you think i'm really interested to hear you guys opinion on this topic what would you guys want there to be more in hot and please remember these are my opinions and i play this game competitively so i may have some other wishes than some some of you guys but this is like more of an opinions of a competitive player also there's some minor glitches always in hot for example game is not counting and, and again this might be a really small thing to some of you but for me it's a big deal you know this year if you quit before the game starts which isn't a loss by the way for example you face somebody from north america and you don't want to play in the na servers with 200 ping you can quit the game and not get a loss but in team stats it shows the losses from the quit games too. This doesn't happen every time, it only happens sometimes. But issues like this, at least for me, is, is a big deal. I would love to know my actual record from the whole NHL in hot. There's no way for me to find out what my real record is. All right, a bit of a rant. <laughs> Just one more idea before I let you go. Draft champions is basically useless now. If I go to draft champions, it's always the same options you can pick from. And the player choices are really, really boring. You can only pick 12 players. Like you always get a silver team and then you can pick some guys here. But I think they could do this so much better as well. In FIFA you can pick your whole team. Maybe you could do something similar. You know, there's all kinds of things you could do with draft champions. <laughs> Alright, now I will let you guys go. Sorry for the little rant here. But let me know what you guys think. Everyone have a great day and see you next time.